Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. Coming to the first news, Landing AI launches new visual inspection platform for manufacturers. One of the top minds in AI, Andrew NG, believes AI technologies can expand their foothold in manufacturing and overcome hurdles such as variable quality and yield, inflexible production line design, inability to manage capacity and rising production costs. For example, in quality control, a learning algorithm can detect anomalies more accurately than humans. While visual inspection is a tiring task for humans, a self-thought machine can give consistent results, work 24-7 and require only fractions of a second to inspect a part. Moving on, PayPal to let you buy and sell cryptocurrencies in the US. PayPal has entered the cryptocurrency market, announcing that its customers will be able to buy and sell Bitcoin and other virtual currencies using their PayPal accounts. Those virtual coins could then be used to buy things from the 26 million sellers which accept PayPal. Bitcoin prices rose alongside the news, breaking the $12,000 mark. The other cryptocurrencies to be added first will be Ethereum, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Moving on to some interesting news about space, NASA's Osirix Rex just snatched a rock sample from asteroid Bennu. New images taken by the Osiris Rex mission shows the historic first touchdown of a NASA spacecraft on the near-Earth asteroid Bennu. The spacecraft collected a sample that will be returned to Earth in 2023. In the images which were stitched together to show the spacecraft touching down, the spacecraft's robotic arm appeared to crush some of the porous rocks on the surface. A nitrogen gas bottle fired on the surface appeared to stir up a substantial amount of material in a rubble shower. The spacecraft then spent 5 seconds collecting that material before backing away. Data and images were sent back by the spacecraft overnight and then shared by the agency. Moving on, Apple, Opera and Yandex face browser address bar spoofing bugs. Looks like Apple's Safari browser along with a couple of others like Opera and Yandex have a vulnerability that then let the attacker trick you. Using the exploit, the attacker can let the browser show a different web address than the URL of the actual website. Being termed as an address bar spoofing bug, this also makes it easier for attackers to make phishing pages look like legit websites, which may result you in revealing your password and other personal details. Moving on, Google Cloud launches Lending Doc AI for the mortgage industry. In an attempt to speed up mortgage processing with the first industry specific offering, Google Cloud has launched Lending Doc AI, which can fast track the home loan process. Although the tool is currently in preview, this first vertically specialized solution has been designed for the mortgage industry to advance and automate the process of evaluating the home mortgage process with the help of machine learning. Moving on, Site raises $40 million to bring visual search to online retailers. Site, a Tel Aviv, Israel-based product discovery platform, raised $30 million in Series C funding and an additional $10 million. Site provides a product discovery platform powered by Visual AI, which enables brands and retailers to connect shoppers with products. Their solutions including camera search, augmented site search, personalization engines and smart in-store tools empower shoppers to discover and purchase products instantly. Moving on, HP Enterprises will build a $160 million supercomputer in Finland. Hewlett Packard Enterprise announced it has been awarded over $160 million to build a supercomputer called Lumi in Finland. The supercomputer will have a theoretical peak performance of more than 550 petaflops and is expected to best the Rikan Center for Computational Sciences top performing Fugaku Petascale computer, which reached 415.5 petaflops in June 2020. Coming to the last news of the day, Wipro bags a 5-year deal from Fortum. 
Wipro IT Services Major has recently announced that it has backed an application management and services integration and management contract from Fortum, a clean energy company headquartered in Espo, Finland. This news came after its recent acquisition of Aximia's design during its time of second quarter earnings. According to the news, as part of the five-year deal, Wipro will manage Fortum's application portfolio across hundreds of applications for more than 11,500 users across 18 countries and provide 24-7 support for business-critical applications. However, the financial details of the deal weren't disclosed. I'll drop the link to the important articles in the description box below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to watch out for this segment every Saturday and like, share and subscribe to Analytics India magazine. See you soon. Bye.